with the area. Hello again, everyone. I'm Heather Holmes in tonight for Frank and I'm Julie Hainer. Authorities say Krejcik went out to Pleasanton Ridge Regional Park yesterday morning. He told his wife he was going for an hour long run, but never returned. Live coverage tonight from KTVU's Emma Goss. She's in Pleasanton and Emma, what's the latest on search efforts? Julie, search teams grew substantially today. Many people were climbing in and out of the Mahler Ranch Trail. The trailhead is just behind me, and now they packed up just a few minutes ago, ending their search tonight and continuing tomorrow morning. They say they're frustrated, though, because typically teams have been able to find missing people in much shorter time and in much larger areas. The, the planned route was right around six to eight miles. Pleasanton police, along with dozens of search and rescue teams from Alameda and Contra Costa counties, desperately searched past sunset on Sunday for 37 year old Philip Krejcik, who was declared missing Saturday afternoon. He had planned it out on that app, so we knew where he was planning on running, and that was the basis for our initial search. We've expanded that search to complete the entire park. Krejcik tracks his frequent long runs on an app connected to a wearable fitness tracker like this one. But Saturday's run didn't get recorded and police can't pinpoint his location because his phone was left inside his car, which was parked near the trailhead Saturday morning. His wife allowed police to access his phone. Among runners, if we're only going to go out for an hour, we don't think anything's going to go wrong. And why bother carrying it if you could drop it and break it? Tyler Wolf, a running buddy of Krejcik, spent five hours Sunday searching off trail brush looking for his friend. Yeah, he's a hardy runner, got a lot of experience and uh, a lot of off trail knowledge. So volunteers, some who knew Krejcik and dozens more in the running and hiking community who saw this post about the search on Facebook, which included this photo, joined the search effort too. I believe easily 30 to 50 should be here right now. Police believe Krejcik either injured himself or fell ill due to heat exhaustion, but have no leads on where he could be or what went wrong. We're still hopeful, uh, but we're starting to do repetitive searches at this point. CHP aircraft could only see open areas and not beneath the trees, so searching on foot, focusing on the extremely steep trail canyons, became the priority. Something where they've gone missing and we've done this extensive of a search and not found them is new to us. A rescue dog detected Krejcik scent for the first couple yards going onto the trail, but lost it due to breezy conditions. The police described this search as a full court press and will be out again tomorrow morning, continuing their search for him. Julie? Well, let's hope they can find him uh, sooner rather than later. Emma, thank you. And just about 30 minutes away at Lake